All right, ladies and gentlemen, there are some of you who are familiar with the old beta and are trying to get into this beta, and we're having some some confusion or some trouble or, or uh, some other things that I forgot to do. Um, the update that I provided yesterday, uh, unfortunately, I was an idiot and gave you a version that still had a couple of save states, and the audio was set to sound effect one, which... If we look at sounds, we can see what the problem is. There is only a zero sound effect. So some of you guys are trying to test the game and getting anomalous results. The other thing was, oh, let me delete this real quick. The other thing was um, you guys were uh, didn't know how to set, you know, to make sure to set the HUD and things like that. You were used to building a screen and just jumping right in. Um, so I want to show you basically what you have to do now to quote unquote jump right in and start building. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, first of all, what I would do is I would set, I would go to start screen, I'm um, going to special screens, start screen, and at least make it black so that you know that you're doing something. It, even if you just do that, if you just do that and hit test, export and test, you'll know that it, it was, it's working, that it's compiling. Um, it'll run through the assembler and then it'll be black. That's, that's what you want. Um, and if you, let's make sure that we're in FCUX, it shows up the same way. So if I go to emulator, um, all this should be familiar to you guys. Uh, if you guys have done the other, uh, tutorials, um, so if I go to desktop, nest stuff, I don't know where yours is, FCUX, and I go to this game, which I just made a dummy, uh, pie copy, navigate to your, um, your root folder, and then game engine data, and let's make sure that that shows up black and not gray. Um, so I do this, so now we're in FCUX when it does and we can even look at the PPU viewer and see the black uh, as we would expect so okay cool that's one thing uh, that you should do now we need to be to be able to get from the first game screen um, from the start screen so some of you guys forgot to do this uh, I'm gonna go to code scripts and I'm gonna go to user scripts and I'm gonna pull in the start button start screen if I look at the start button start screen, one of the problems that some of you guys had was this was set to one because I was doing that in the tutorial and I never changed it back when I zipped up the file. My mistake. Um, so you could even remove this line or comment it out for later if you want. With your version that came downloaded, this should be to zero, which is playing an empty sound effect. So it's the same exact effect as not having a sound effect there at all to start with. But I wanted to keep it there in case you load up your own sound effects and then you want to to you know change this to play whatever sound you want uh, when you press the start button. So, okay, so that's one thing. And then you have to set your input editor to at the start screen. When I press start, null object, I want to run that script add script. So some of you guys wouldn't know to do this if this is your first time. Um, so the, if you look at the input editor tutorials, you'll understand how this interface works. Um, but I'm still going to have tr uh, some trouble. Uh, first of all, I never, I haven't done anything. I haven't set a screen. I haven't done anything. So I'm just going to pick a random screen with this one. Uh, I'm going to set this as my starting screen. And uh, I'm going to make a real quick graphic. So I don't have a graphic. I, I, I set my sub palette to black in the background. Maybe I'll set this to green or something like that. And I'm just going to quickly edit a tile and just say, hi. And this is going to end up being default zero tile. So it's going to draw a screen. I'm going to save modify tiles. It's going to draw a screen with hi written on it. Um, I don't even have to make a tile. I, I don't have to make a, uh, any tiles out, it's going to automatically do make that one because that's the first tile that it sees. Uh, I can, if I want, I could just say dummy tile and save it. I don't even think I have to do that though. Um, so now if I go to overworld and I double click on that screen, hi, 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 um, place your player, place them outside of the HUD area if, if you're going to build a HUD area, which we're going to have to do. So now most of you, if you followed the old tutorials, would be like, oh, cool. Now I can just t export and test. And what you're going to notice is, oops, let me close that out um, because I already did something with this. Um, you would actually have a problem when you press a start button, it would freeze. And probably the reason is you didn't set up your HUD. So what you need to be, what you need to do is you need to go to your HUD boxes and you need to define a HUD area and hit set HUD area. Now, my advice is figure out where you want your HUD, set the HUD area and set the playable area opposite that like this. 
or maybe you want a hut on the side, hut area, playable area, whatever, wherever you, you think you're going to want that to be. And right now it's going to just going to show up as black. But if you didn't do this, uh, the game might have a problem loading. Additionally, and this was brought to my attention and I should have thought to mention this, if you, you can't make the HUD only one row, if I set it to this, that won't work. I need it at least two rows, at least two rows, uh, horizontally and and vertically so um i can't just set this like that that can't be my hud it has to be at least that um and so it can't be this it has to be at least that it can't be this it has to be at least that now if you don't want a hud in your game at all don't worry there's a way to turn off the drawing of this uh, so you never see it and we'll deal with that another time i just want to get you guys sort of up and started so make sure that you have at least a two uh, tile tall hud if you don't want to if you don't want if you want this to still be gameplay area you can overlap your gameplay area and your HUD area. So like you can do that. And right now you're going to see the HUD, but I can show you how to turn that off. Um, you have to get into a code right now. We're going to have a, a button that sets the bit uh, really simply. Um, but for right now, um, you could do that if you want the, there to be overlap. I tend to not want overlap. I have a playable area and a HUD that's separate. So you don't have to set up the HUD. You don't have to do anything with the HUD, but you do have to, to tell it that that's where I want the HUD box. Um, and lastly, what is new that you guys may not know to set up, if I go to project and I go to project labels, there's this new tab called script settings. This is where you're going to decide whether you're making, for right now, a sort of top-down adventure maze game style game. Um, or a platform game. Like basically, does your game observe gravity and the player falls and, you know, it reacts to the solid objects underneath him or does it not? You know, is he, do you press up, down, left, right, and he moves around that way? And that could mean maybe your, your, your player is just a, you know, a hand cursor and it's for a point and click game. But the idea is gravity is not either, is either affecting him or it's not affecting him. So if you're cool with gravity not affecting you, then you want this top down, uh, physics. So you want the top down physics, you want the top down uh, tile collision, you want the top down handle bounds. Um, and this is always going to be the same for right now. This is the only uh, sprite drawing script. Now, if you want a platform game, you're going to go into user scripts. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm incorrect. You're going to go into system scripts with the all capital, all caps. And you can see I've got platform simple uh acc and speed that's your physics code and i've got top down ac that's so it's loaded right now i've got four directional uh, screen change that's for your top down handle bounds i've got platform simple handle bounds i've got platform simple tile collision and i've got top down tile collision so if i wanted to change this to a platform game i would go to physics and i would say okay i need my acc and speed for a platform game and it updated that. And if I wanted a, a, a platform tile collision, uh, tile collision platform simple, handle bounds, tile collision, platform simple. And if I wanted to go back the other way, I would just, uh, for my physics, I would go ACC top down, tile collision top down, and handle bounds four directional screen change. Um, so those things need to be set. And now if I go ahead and test my game, export and test. Now I can hit the start button and I'll go to that first screen. So some of you guys didn't have to do, there's a couple of new steps there. And if you were used to the old beta and had done a bunch of practices, you might be like, hey, why didn't that thing that I did before work? Uh, and that's why. And mostly, uh, probably your problem had to do with the HUD uh, trying to draw and not having the right value. So that should get you started. Um, and hopefully, uh, I'm going to upload a new version of this tool that doesn't have the the uh, sound effect problem uh, that, that where that's fixed. Uh, so that and, and I've erased the bad save states. So... Uh, so yeah, I'm really uh, anxious to, to see what you guys come up with this weekend. You guys are awesome.